Just some bleep ad libs for right, you. Let's do them. Hey Google. Subscribe. Stop music. Yeah. Different sounds of bleep. No. He has an alarm <laughs> set for his <laughs> RuneScape game. <laughs> so he can. <laughs> My <Marvin Jesus. laughs> I'm not the one that are done. It's ridiculous, right? I mean, it's maximum efficiency. That's what it is. I mean, you gotta fish for those lobbies, man, and, and, yes. and mine that. All right. uh, Here, here's a good one. Coal. Crap. Quiet on set. Crap. Heck. Shoot. Bonkers. Darn. Dang. <laughs> oh, that's great. Let's get out of here. See you guys later. We are setting up the road podcast. Do you have the address? I can, I can find it. Just got done shooting the pixel cast. How'd it go, Tristan? It was good. Um, my throat's feeling like I talked for like 40-ish minutes. Yeah, but you pretty much did. I passed the time, definitely. We used a phone here. You guys probably can't see it. And then my phone. It was over there, but then it got hot. <laughs> so we had to move it here. A mic here. And then Zach, back here doing all the... Uh, Streaming from the laptop, box here, iPad here, my phone was the internet connection. Um, a lot of electronics probably have cancer back here now. Nice. <laughs> but uh, no, um, no, it was cool. It was fun to just try this out and see. Turn back where possible, Options. then turn right. Turn back where possible. Yes. Yes. Being the most massive one on the team now has its downfalls. Everyone expects you to carry everything now. And, uh, you know, sometimes I just get bored of lifting super heavy things. And, so. uh. I pick stuff up and I put it down. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See that bus? You see that bus? <laughs> what a bunch of lamers. <laughs> I don't think they can see Who rides see the bus? Oh, you can't see it? Oh, well, that bus says lamers bus. Lamers. First thing you get, uh, you do when you get to a hotel, you gotta get that lean Wi-Fi connection. <laughs> Heck. Yeah. That is cool. What you gotta do to get a good photo? Stand in the middle of the street in the snow. We are heading down to this sushi place. Looks a little fancy for us, but uh, we're gonna do it anyway because, well, we want sushi, and it'd be silly not to take our money, right? <laughs> What's up, vlog? Welcome back to uh, another edition of Cooley J's Food Review. Uh, unfortunately, Cooley J was not able to attend this uh, food review. So we have me, Chrissy B, and me, Joey B. <laughs> Anyways, so today we are at Red. I think it's called Red. Simply Red. We got sushi. We got lots of different kinds of sushi. So, 
so far we've tried this one. It's a firecracker roll, I think. Yeah. Firecracker. I'd give it a seven out of ten. Yeah, I'd give it a I'd give it a I'd give it an eight out of ten Alan Kaitase bitches. This one I would say I like the cream cheese in it, but I, I think the wasabi sauce. Did you taste was, the wasabi sauce? I did. I did. It, it ruined it for me. It uh, brings it down a little bit. I'd give this one maybe a, a six range. A six range, yes. I'd give it a I'd give it a six and a half maybe. This one. It's got some kicks. <laughs> Now, yeah, that one was more about the textures for me yeah. rather than the taste. I give it an eight. You give it an eight? Ten. I give it a seven. A the spicy one? Yeah, I, I like well, I like better taste. Spicy. I like better taste than texture. Oh, he's gonna try it. <laughs> Good. Good. You like it? Yeah. I think this one in the middle is the bagel is the one with the wasabi. Mm. Really good. What was the, the very top one that we did? That was my favorite I think so far. Godzilla? Godzilla, yeah. It's got a lot of yeah. It's got the it's got the tape flavor and the texture from the so it's good. Where do you get it? I give it a nine. Me too. Yeah, solid nine. Solid nine. So nine. <laughs> Holy J's food review. Yeah, with Holy J's food review with, with Trissy B and Joey V and Zeki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Peace out. All right. What do we rate that restaurant as a whole? Uh, Give it an eight. Eight out of ten. I was gonna say seven. Seven? Yeah. yeah. I'll um, give it an eight out of ten. Alan can. It is Saturday morning, 7.30 a.m., and we're about to head out to the AOE shoot. This is a cool art room. Hey, what's up vlog? We just got done shooting the first half of the day. And uh, we're just setting up the second shot for the AOE shoot, and uh, it's pretty cool here what we got going on. We're doing a uh, black light shoot, so we'll go ahead and show you that. Thank you. That's true. Yeah. But I think it was still a little dark. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just being super cool, super right, casual. Over here. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that makes such a big difference. It to lights, have that. Yeah, it lights the background. Cool. Pretty cool. We're doing some black light yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit more awake now. I feel like I can talk a little too. better than I was earlier. Leggings and stuff on. I did a tank top. Yeah. It's pretty lit, man. Yeah. Literally with pretty black light. Oh my gosh, look at this. 
Yo, that's cool. Like, I'm no, we're gonna get some lunch at like a coffee shop, I think. Could use some coffee um, and some food. So turn left out of the And yeah. Shoot's going good. Um, finished one of the pro packs. Now we have a second pro pack to do that's all black light. So it's going to be a unique, interesting shooting experience for us where most of it is going to be shot with all the lights off, which is the opposite of what we usually do. And it's all going to be lit with the black lights. So it's just kind of an experimental thing to see how things work uh, best, but uh, through some testing I think we've decided that the black light way is the way to go, and we're going to roll with it. Hold on. Ugh, I'm going to go to manual focus. And we're back. I mean, probably. We just ate some food, and now we're two? going back we to the black out. light setup. We, uh, Tested I mean, it out it, beforehand, yeah, but be over lunch yeah, we decided we're gonna go ahead and do it. So we're just getting it set up, and then we'll be the ones that are like the second part of the shoot. Yo, oh, this is 1.4, right? Yeah. Nice. We just finished the shoot, so we just gotta tear down and get out of here. How are you feeling, Tristan? What's up? How are you feeling? Good, are you filming right now? Yeah, the cap's on. <laughs> What's up, vlog? All packed up. It is 5.56. Pretty good day, pretty pretty reasonable shoot. It was um, a great shoot. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Are safe. You too. No, it was, uh, it was cool to do something with black lights and see kind of how we can change up how we shoot pro packs with that. Um, but overall, it was a pretty smooth shoot. Coolidge's Food Review, Speed Edition. You got that? Yes. You can swipe the bug. What a vlog, we're here at Knock Knock. Just got our food. We're gonna try it and eat it. Chris, what do you give it? Uh, I give it a 9 out of 10. So, the thing with Knock Knock is you have to remember that. <laughs> I would say it's a 9, 9.5 out of 10. It's in my top one or two places of fast food. I give it a 10 out of 10, Alan. Ooh, okay. 10 out of 10. Okay. You're okay. giving it a perfect? Yes, this is perfect fast food. Perfect fast? Perfect fast food. Yeah. So like, this is how good it was. Is it's gone already. We've been here for like three minutes. The one with <laughs> Michael, Michael Bublé. Yeah. yeah. From PepsiCo. So, I thought it was pretty um, funny. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're here. This place looks kind of familiar. Does it? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> 